Hello, this is Dr. G. Sudhakar Reddy, Consultant Orthopedic Surgeon, Continental Hospitals, Hyderabad. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a painful condition on the shoulder called frozen shoulder. Frozen shoulder is also known as uh, adhesive capsulitis or periarthritis. This is uh, when the capsule or the shoulder joint covering gets thickened and inflamed. Uh, usually, it uh, occurs in middle age, 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 middle age group. Uh, typically, uh, the person is usually diabetic or has hypo or hyperthyroidism and sometimes be associated with heart conditions or any trivial injury. Usually the symptoms run in three phases. Uh, the first phase is a painful or uh, acute phase where there is a lot of redness or inflammation in the shoulder with uh, pain uh, associated with night pain and all moments cause pain in the shoulder. This is followed by a frozen phase where the pain gets reduced but the shoulder becomes stiff. This can run for another 6 to 8 months. Following this, the third phase is, where, is called the thawing phase where the inflammation and the uh, inflama uh, acute episode uh, gets uh, resolved and the additions resolve and then they get movements back. Confirmation is by clinical examination and sometimes we do an MRI scan of the shoulder to diagnose uh, other other areas of uh, pain particularly to rule out any uh, tendon cuff tears uh, if the diagnosis is confirmed as a frozen shoulder the first line of treatment will be painkillers and usually a course of physiotherapy where they do pain management with local modalities like IFT ultrasound and followed by mobilization of the shoulder if the acute painful phase or movements uh, doesn't get uh, improved with these measures. Sometimes uh, we give intraocular steroid injection or sometimes we dilate the shoulder with some fluid to uh, release the additions. Sometimes uh, when the movement doesn't get, doesn't get better, we do what we call a manipulation under anesthesia or a pass a camera in called arthroscope and then release the additions called arthroscopic adhesiolysis. Usually after this procedure, uh, they have they continue the physiotherapy and within one or two months, they get full range of moments. Thank you.